as the truth and reconciliation movement sweeps across the country, it is starting to become part of everyday life. Now, like it or not, it is part of the Canadian government's promise to repair its relationship with the First Nations people. But how effective is it? Bri Morin, director of the National Centre for Truth and Reconciliation, says understanding starts at the beginning. We have to remember, unfortunately, as a country, we have actually been miseducated. And Canadians were not equipped with the proper sets of information on who Indigenous peoples are, what Indigenous peoples have been subjected to, and how that has created huge amounts of trauma inside of the community. He says that's just one hurdle. We have to overcome the, frankly, the ignorance of um, Canadians towards Indigenous peoples, and that is through a long process of education. We also have to remember that in ignorance rests racism, and re racism is oftentimes the manifestation of a lack of understanding. Warren says once you understand why people are the way they are, healing can begin. And we really have to be combating both of those things, ignorance and racism, because they are extraordinarily destructive, they're bad for the country, they're bad for us as a whole, and we have to work very diligently to repair uh, the relationships. Angela Griffith, Indigenous Peoples Director, says it starts with letting go of what you think you know and being open to learning. I think the common misunderstanding is that non-Indigenous people think it's their fault and it's, it's not necessarily their fault, but they did benefit from the colonization that happened to our people. And I, I honestly don't think we can move forward if we don't put work in together. As a residential school survivor, Barb Blind, a Brandon community elder, says the healing is not just on a person-to-person -person level. It's the systems, because a lot of people, they say, oh, like uh, non-Indigenous people, they say, well, it had nothing to do with me. But to me, it's the systems that are need fixing. Morin believes truth and reconciliation is making a difference in communities across the nation, but there's still much work to be done. The sad reality, though, is, is that Indigenous peoples have been saying this stuff for centuries, really. And even to this very day, what is still being sought is a respectful, peaceful relationship. In Winnipeg, Rachel Crow Spreading Wings, City News.